guys, it's Riley or Riley Scripted over on Instagram and Poshmark and today I have a huge bins haul for you guys. So I went to the bins in Wisconsin, uh, I forgot what the town is called, it's not the Appleton ones, it's the other ones. And turns out that those ones are closer to my house than the Rockford ones, they're about an hour away. Also, sorry if you can hear children screaming, I'm filming outside and there's a big bounce house a few houses down so you know kids having fun whatever i got a bunch of stuff i've paid about 180 dollars for about 180 pounds i paid 99 cents a pound and depending on when this video goes up you've either seen my new series or you haven't pounds to play-dohs which is explained over there where i buy lower end fast fashion forever 21 h&m stuff and take it to play-dohs closet and see what they give me if that sounds like something you're interested in I'll try to figure out how to link it up above, and if I can't, then you have to go down to my channel, click, like, you know, go into my videos, and look for it. That's honestly probably what you're going to have to do, because I'm even too lazy to figure out how to link it above. Okay. So, this day I got a bunch of shoes, and an okay amount of clothes. This is probably one of my best bins hauls ever. Not necessarily, just like I got a bunch of stuff and I got some okay stuff. I'm a little bit dirty from moving the stuff around. That's fantastic. I'm going to need a shower. <sighs> Airplane. Okay, so this is going to be part one. I don't know when part two is coming to you. If part two is coming to you, it depends on when I have a chance to film because this block party thing is going to happen. And, you know. People are already getting loud, which is annoying. Jerks. All right, let's just get into the haul. First, I found these fairies. Actually, not first, I found like, I don't know what I found first, but I found these fairies, what I'm showing you first. Um, They're a big size. They are a size 10. Oh, wow, they're a 10. They look way bigger than a 10. Like I thought these were like a 12. Okay, anyway, it's fairies. You know what Sperry's are. I don't, like, I haven't been picking up series, but these are, like, you know, not the classic style, so I grabbed them. Goodwill wanted $7 for them. Goodwill didn't sell them for $7 or for half all the $7, so I bought them. At the bins. Oh, and let me tell you, I mean, I paid bin prices, but it comes out to about $1.20 per pair of shoes or a handbag, and about, I think, like, 50-something cents for each piece of clothes, which I'm going to round up to 60 cents. So, those shoes. Next I found these little baby Timberlands. Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> they got a little Timberland logo there. I haven't checked comps on these. I don't know how much they're selling for. I'm hoping for like $15. Super light. And, ugh, I'm not a big handbag person, but I did look through some handbags and I found this Nine West one. This would be, can you even see that one I went down here? This Nine West handbag. This is something that I consider taking to Play-Dohs, but it's cute and it's like a blush color, a good color. So I decided I'll list it and I don't care if I get like $15 for it. I'm not gonna go like accessory shoes. I don't know. Oh, I'll show you the one home good item I got. I got this Western buffalo dream catcher type thing to try. I've never put anything in the home market so I did get this to give a try. I'll probably sell it for like $15. It's interesting. Not, not my style but some it's someone's style. Saved it from the landfill. I'll keep going with the shoes. These were a good find. I didn't even check them over which I should have but they're in good shape. It's fine. Okay, these are, I'm assuming boys, because they are a size, oh, they could be women's, they're size 5. Well, I'll look it up. Keen, these are, okay, Keen sneakers, either boys or really small women's Keen sneakers. I am, um, I think they're super cool. Leather, they've got this, like, little detail on them, kind of, like, color blocked. Super good shape. Glad to find those. I kind of hope they're women's because they'll sell for more, but they are a small size. So, anyway, next I grabbed this leather backpack, which is from the brand. 
in London with a teeny tiny little horse by it. Can you see that? And I know nothing about this brand. I picked it up because it's leather and it looks like something just fell out of it. Wonder what it is. It looks like a gum wrapper. I'm so uncomfortable. Okay. I picked this up because it's leather, it looks vintage, and I'm gonna look up the brand and see if it's anything special. Got these art shoes. I don't know if these are comfort shoes or just like funky shoes. Um, here is what the inside looks like. A R C H E. I just sold a pair of these that I had listed in my closet for over a year. I should have re like I should have relisted it, but I'm just too lazy. So Goodwill wanted five dollars for these. Honestly, I probably would have paid five dollars, but I got them at the bins. So we'll see how those do. These are sold at Nordstrom and retail in like the three hundred dollar range, I believe. Okay, here's another handbag, and this one I don't think has a brand, but it is all leather. It has the little leather patch here, and there's a design. Oh, it says made in Italy, and it has a design like a little like a fleur de lis there so we'll see what I can get for that oh wow it zips up that's cool oh, I wonder if it's broken oh no it's not broken interesting I'm itchy okay so next up is this built bag b-u-i-l-t and I looked it up stop yelling people in an airplane but they were pausing Oh, I didn't even think to mention this. If you hear those little bugs, like that, this sound? Can you hear it? Those are cicadas, which are like, my cousins come up from Michigan and they're like, oh wow, the cicadas are so loud. And I mean, if you live in Illinois or just, I, maybe not, I don't know. If you live in my area, you just tune them out. Like, I forget they even exist. I notice them like twice a summer. I'm like, oh, the cicadas, that's right, cicadas. So. This is a belt bag or cooler. I haven't decided yet what it is. And I looked up the brand. There's, I don't know, can you see that? I looked up the brand and it looks interesting. The hardware is nice, it says built on it. Like it looks like an expensive bag. I couldn't figure out much on the brand. Goodwill wanted $5. And I really don't know what it's worth. My mom told me it sold at boutiques in our area. And to me, it looks like a cooler. Anyway, I offered it to my mom, and if my mom doesn't take it, then I'll try to do some more research on it. Next, I have these Zara Boys, like, boots? What are they called, like, chaka boots? It looks like the string is starting to come a little bit undone there, but I'll just cut it off. Anyway, not much to say about these blue suede. I wonder, I don't know if they're real other Zara Boys boots that I thought were cute and didn't want them to get trashed. Then I grabbed these Supergas which are in rough shape, shape, but I think I can throw them in the wash and see if they'll clean up. If they don't, then they'll just get redonated or something or go to Play-Dohs. That's what Superga looks like. It is a popular brand that I would keep an eye out for, but not, not pay too much for, but keep an eye out for. Continuing with shoes, I have these gray suede Pumas. Um, they look like they maybe have like a glitter to them that's kind of gone, but they're in okay shape. And I'll sell them. $20 range. They're not like fantastic. Getting down to the end of the shoes for part one, because I have tons more, which will just be like part two, and part three, and part four. Anyway, I got these Sam Edelman. Not my style at all, like bedazzled cheetah print flats i don't know i would have not picked these up like for five dollars at goodwill which they don't have a price tag these are probably like you know raw donation or whatever but my goodwill would have wanted five dollars actually they've been pricing sam edelman up to like 15 i would not have paid 15 dollars for these i might have picked them up for five but i got them at the bin so i like selling sam edelman though next are these gray steve madden slip-on shoes that my sister actually said that she wants to keep so, you know, she can pay me the dollar twenty and they can be hers. Okay, then these are Prada loafers. My first time ever finding Prada and it was at the bins. It has a little Prada there and it says Prada in there. And I will tell you these are very, very worn. But as my sibling said, 
you know, if you're gonna buy Prada loafers, you better wear them. But I have leather conditioner, I'll clean up the sides. Like, this side is really worn out. Like, who, how did they wear out the sides? But, you know, I'll clean them up and see what they're selling for. They look like they retailed for like 600 something dollars. So, we'll see what they're selling for. I'm fine picking them up for $1.20. All right, last pair of shoes for this haul. This was a great find. And Goodwill wanted $7. I would have paid $7 for these at Goodwill. They are Paul Green flats. They are a size five and a half, but be careful with Paul Green. Um, there's someone walking by. These say size five and a half, but be careful with Paul Green. Let me show you. That's what Paul Green looks like because it is UK sizing, I believe is what it is. I'm showing you like, okay, it's UK sizing. So just look at the size chart because these are probably like it's a five and a half, maybe like a seven or an eight-ish, somewhere in there. Anyway, super cute. These will probably pay for like half of my haul. Like, hopefully, I'm gonna list them in like the seventy-dollar range, unless this style happens to be selling for more. And I'll probably get like fifty dollars for these. These were a good find. Happy to grab these. Happy to save these from the landfill. And can we say? Can we take a moment of silence? Well, besides the cicadas. Thank you, cicadas. A moment of silence for the frame jeans I found that had a broken zipper. The beautiful Bowden blouse, new Bowden blouse I found with a bunch of stains. The single fry boot I found. The single Kate Spade espadrille I found. The single Saludo wedge I found. And I feel like there's one more. Oh, and there was a woman who found a beautiful Eco Echo shoe single pair. Like this Goodwill, so bad at keeping shoes together. So bad. So broke my heart okay anyway moving on so that is all the shoes and purses I will be showing today now on to some of the clothing so first I'm gonna show these oh no now I'll get it later kind of a boring find but I grabbed this under armor hoodie for my brother and it smells like soap maybe someone just washed it under armor I'm going inside soon. It's getting stressful. Under Armour shirt for my brother again. So I didn't find much to keep. I found those for my brother and my sister might keep a pair of shoes and I think the rest is all going to be re resold. So this I grabbed it smells like men's cologne. Maybe I think I grabbed it originally to take to Plato's but it's just an H&M winter coat but it's like, it's trendy, a men's winter coat. I'm gonna list it and see what I can get for it because I like it. Oh man, all the men's stuff is like right at the beginning. <laughs> so that's kind of boring. So this is a men's J. Crew polo. There were a, like a lot, a good amount of these, but most of them were not the same size. So I couldn't lot them up, which is weird. Oh my gosh, you know what a J. Crew tag looks like. They're just J. Crew shirt. Okay. I'm just pulling off the top, so we'll see what we get. I did, okay, I hit a patch of like Ann Taylor and White House Black Market stuff in the newer stuff. So I did grab this White House Black Market, the newer label of that, white lacy off the shoulder top. Here's another J. Crew men's top, and this is white, so I looked it over and found like nothing wrong with it i hope when i lay down the photograph who knows i might find something wrong so j crew men's dress shoe or i honestly have no idea what these dress shirts sell for i really wanted to lot them up but different sizes this is a pair of athleta shorts that have like a spandex underneath them and i'll just show you athleta logo size large so this is a bolo I learned from Nicole State, and I'm so glad that she found it like a week before I went sourcing and made her video. It is Oh My Gauze, can you see it? Which is, I believe, a lag and look brand. And I did find a pair of pants in this brand too. I don't know when you'll see them because they're not on the top of my pile. Anyway, super happy to find that. I have no idea what comps are, but Nicole State says it's a bolo, so thank you, Nicole. Next, I found this itty bitty triangle bikini top. And it is authentic, triangle, it's not like not as popular as it used to be. Can you see that? I'm like, anyway, 
didn't find a bottom or anything. I don't even know how I did that. Can you see like my boobs? This is extra small. I need like an a triple XL triangle swimsuit. Okay. So triangle swimsuit, maybe like twenty dollars. Sticking with swimsuits, I found this Victoria's Secret cheetah print one. This is like a trendy, like a well when they made swimsuits, this was a popular style. Um, and it's a bra size. It's a 34D. So, and it did have when I found it, it had one strap but didn't have both straps. So I just threw that one strap back and selling it as a strapless bikini. Okay, so. These are two men's J. Crew shirts that I found in the same size that same style will be lotted up together. And I'm now using it to J. Crew Factory, so that's worth a little bit less. There's one, both gingham. This one is not J. Crew Factory, but they're like the same style, so they will be lotted up together in the same size and sold. Okay. I actually have this bikini in my closet right now. It is Victoria's Secret. I have it in an extra small though with the matching bottoms. I only have the top for this. And I'm looking at it now, surprise the straps are actually there. So it's a sailboat bikini and I believe this is donated, this bikini and the other one and then I have one more were donated all by the same girl because they're about the same size and in the same bin. So, oh my gosh. Last bikini. I picked up is another Victoria's Secret one. Victoria's Secret swimsuits sell decent and it is like a glitter, I think this is like the bombshell bikini. And the bottom you can see is missing some glitter flex, but I just still decided to pick it up. Maybe sell for like $12. Anyway, you might be thinking like, hey, swimsuit season over. But people buy swimsuits year round. Like you go on vacation, you go to hotels that have pools, you know go tropical vacations if you got some money. I sell bikinis year round. Alright, next up. Goodwill wanted $8 for this, which is why it was at the bins. It is just a Bowden tank top, and it's like an older Bowden piece at that. But I will sell this for some money. I don't know how much. Probably not a lot. Maybe $15. Maybe a little more. Okay. I have no idea what the comps are on these. It's Andrew Mark, which I feel like is not like the best brand. It's not the worst brand, but it's a winter coat. Can you even see that? And winter is coming up, even though I'm sitting out here and kind of hot in my shorts and t-shirt. It was like a nice coat, so I grabbed it. And if I don't feel like listing it, like comps aren't great, I'll take it to Play-Dohs or something. Okay. Next are two vintage dresses that I was happy to find. I thought they were cute. I don't sell a lot of vintage, but I do sell it sometimes. So this is like a wrap dress. I don't know how to show it. It wraps in front. So, you know, like typical wrap dresses wrap in front. Anyway, I have no idea when these dresses are from. If you know, leave a comment down below. I will do more research before selling them. But that is the tag. And that was one of them. It does have a teeny tiny hole in the front, but I couldn't leave it behind. And then the next one is from the same brand. Again, like a retro style. I have no idea when these are from. This one looks older than the other one. And it buttons up in the front. Super cute like that. And there is the tag again. I believe the brand is Langs, L-A-N-Z. Yeah, Originals. So. Those are those vintage dresses. The bird is chirping. Okay, I think this is the last men's J. Crew item I have. So another men's J. Crew item. This one's a size large. Just one more button down. I'm thinking like I can get about $14 for these. So you know that I don't even know why I'm showing you this tag. So I grabbed them. The bird is chirping. I'm sorry, I can't make the bird stop chirping. All right. We're gonna keep going even with this bird a chirpin'. Okay, these are Citizens of Humanity, let's see, petite boot cut leg. So I don't know if that means they're petite or if the boot cut is petite. And I hate picking up boot cut jeans, but I just couldn't leave these Citizens of Humanity jeans behind. So, honestly, I'm not expecting like more than 15 for these, but they are in good shape. Other than they have like a, I think a spot that I need to kind of wipe out, but they are in good shape. 
yeah, right down there. All right, so if you saw, depending on what's posted, my pounds to Plato's haul, you know I found um, some Lululemon, not good Lululemon. Like, it's just one piece of groove pants that's going to Plato's. This one is another piece of Lululemon. It's a tank, and it's kind of dingy, and there's some spots. So we're gonna throw her in the wash and see see what happens. There's the Lulu logo. And if it doesn't clean up, then she's going to Play-Dohs because like I said in my other video, Play-Dohs will buy anything Lululemon. Okay. In the end, if this does clean up a little bit, like I'd say like $15 for that, like not a lot. So Goodwill wanted $7 for this. You can't even really see, 41 Hawthorne blue blouse stitch mix brand kind of like a scallop sleeve pretty basic career wear oh so I didn't say it. I was at the bins for seven hours that day I just completely lost track of time I was there almost from opening to close so this is everything about that day so this is a White House black market it has a few spots I need to clean up um, maroon career wear blouse which i will be listing hopefully soon because it's a good piece for the season and that's a newer tag like i said earlier now this is another piece of white house black market so i don't love black house black market but i don't hate it and this is a cardigan but it's gonna be kind of hard to show i think it's like kind of drapey i don't know i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it this is all like smaller stuff, so new tag again. Then I found these J. Jill pants. Oh no, these aren't J. Jill. These are Talbots. I really thought these were J. Jill. So, Talbots. And I grabbed these because I liked the print for fall. Just, I don't know, what's that called? Herringbone? Is that herringbone? It's like kind of, it's like sort of a herringbone print, sort of not. So, anyway, I like them for fall. We'll see how they do. This is all like bread and butter stuff. This is not where I make the majority of my money. Although I did get good shoes. Oh, I think the people across the street have a puppy. Okay, I got another bikini, but this was not with the Victoria's Secret ones. This is a Trina Turk bikini. The strap goes across. I didn't find a bottom match for it, but you know, I'd rather, like I'd pick up the top without the bottoms, but I don't really want to pick up the bottoms without the top. It's a little worn, but we'll see how it does. Next, I got these, need to be buttoned, I'm not going to button them, Lane Bryant gingham, gingham, gingham pants, and you know what a Lane Bryant tag looks like, maybe they're size 18, and I'm thinking I'll get like maybe $18 for these, hopefully, maybe, we'll see, I have so much stuff to list, I'm going to die of a heart attack. Okay, so both of these are LuLaRoe leggings, plain back pair, and a heart pair, and you might be like, why did you pick those up? Because they still sell, not for a lot, but for enough that I'll pick them up, not for $5 at Goodwill, or $7, or like $10, because I think LuLaRoe's like still gold, but especially like, I don't know about the black pair, but maybe the black pair, they're not even the same size, so I would lot them up if they're the same size, but they're not. Although I do have some other ones that I could lot up. You don't even care. I'm moving on. LuLaRoe leggings that I grabbed. I was surprised I didn't find anything like dresses or anything LuLaRoe. Okay. These are Levi's. And I don't, these aren't like good Levi's. I think these are actually relatively cheap Levi's. But they're like acid wash shorts, cutoffs, trendy. Honestly, these, these might go to Play-Dohs because I don't really feel like selling these. This is Ann Taylor. Oh, and it looks, I can't tell if this is older or newer. It is this blazer. Oh my gosh, there's kids. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up really quick. Like, we're only gonna go through a few more items because of these kids screaming. So, Ann Taylor, I don't know if it's newer or older, size four. <sighs> For your wear. Okay, we're gonna do like two more items. Oh, I'm so, this was my favorite find clothing wise 
my favorite clothing find. It was this Zara Gigum green skirt. I think it's absolutely adorable. I can't wait to get this listed. I absolutely love it. I, am, I keep talking. My dad's like, you should wear that to Thanksgiving. And I was like, yeah, dad, I'm not an extra small. That's funny. And then I tried it on for him and couldn't get it like past my butt. So excited to find that. And last, we'll do a bra. We're ending on a bra note. I wonder if these people can hear me and think I'm insane. They have a cute puppy. Oh my gosh. Is it like a golden? Okay. I found a Victoria's Secret bra. I like selling Victoria's Secret bras. I was at Victoria's Secret with my sister last weekend and she spent $100 on two bras. And I'm like, dude, like, I don't buy. Mm. No, I've never bought a used bra. But I get my bras cheap. Like, I've bought Victoria's Secret bras new on Poshmark. $25 or $40 for two of them. Like, I'm, I'm not spending $100 on two bras, okay? That's not cool. Anyway, Victoria's Secret bra. It's not in, like, fantastic condition. It has, like, some elastic coming out right there. But, like, the bra's still in, like, it's upside down. It's still in okay shape, so. All right, guys. So, that was part one of my huge Wisconsin bins haul to resell on Poshmark. Like, you know what I'm doing with this stuff. Um, not much to say. Other than, if you haven't checked out my Pounds to Play-Dohs, go check that out. There is people I need to finish this up. I hate being watched by people. So, go check out Pounds to Play-Dohs if you haven't checked it out yet. Uh, part 2 and maybe part 3 of this bins haul will be coming. Not, not necessarily soon and you probably will see me in a different outfit because there are people outside and they're watching me and there's airplanes and I'm like, I'm done. You can hear the puppy! Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope that you guys have lots of sales and <laughs> you stay tuned for my other videos. Bye.